Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our study along of the world order of Baha'u'llah, Selected Letters by Shoghi Effendi. If you're joining for the first time, welcome. Linked below, you'll find all kinds of good information to orient you as to who, what, when, where, why of this whole series, essentially excavating some of the spiritual solutions to all of the world's problems. These gems embedded in the teachings of the Baha'i Faith, elucidated by the guardian Shoghi Effendi in this series of letters. Again, you'll find all kinds of good stuff linked below, including the playlist of this study along series leading up to today. All right, we are jumping in uh, towards the end of the letter entitled The Dispensation of Baha'u'llah, written in 1938. Let me just confirm that. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. I think that I'm right about that, actually. It's at the front. 34, excuse me. I checked. So, paragraph 32 of the Dispensation of Baha'u'llah. And Shoghi Effendi has been using a lot of source quotes from the Bab and Baha'u'llah to elucidate the stupendous nature of Baha'u'llah's revelation. The effulgence of God's splendorous mercy, he, Baha'u'llah, in a passage alluding to the growth and future development of the faith, declares, hath enveloped the peoples and kindreds of the earth, and the whole world is bathed in its shining glory. The day will soon come when the light of divine unity will have so permeated the east and the west that no man dare any longer ignore it. Now in the world of being the hand of divine power hath firmly laid the foundations of this all highest bounty and this wondrous gift. Whatsoever is latent in the inmost of this holy cycle shall gradually appear and be made manifest. For now is but the beginning of its growth and the day spring of the revelation of its signs. Ere the close of this century and of this age, it shall be made clear and evident how wondrous was that springtide and how heavenly was that gift. In confirmation of the exalted rank of the true believer, referred to by Baha'u'llah, he reveals the following. The station which he hath truly, the station which he who hath truly recognized the revelation, this revelation will attain. I'm sorry, I keep mumbling this. Let's do this again. The station which he who hath truly recognized this revelation will attain is the same as the one ordained for such prophets of the house of Israel as are not regarded as manifestations endowed with constancy. Very interesting. So prophet is lowercase, okay? So the station which he who had truly recognized this revelation, Baha'u'llah's revelation, will attain. The station the believer in Baha'u'llah will attain is the same as the one ordained for such prophets, lower p, lowercase p, for such prophets of the house of Israel as are not regarded as manifestations, capitalized, endowed with constancy. So my understanding of this is the station of the true believer of Baha'u'llah is the same as the lowercase prophets of the house of Israel who are not manifestations of God. So it's a very high station, but it's obviously not that of a manifestation. High station, but not that of a manifestation. Blah, blah, blah. Fasting brains. That's what I said, but still, in my own, I could hear that that sounded kind of confusing. Okay, groovy. You guys with me? Paragraph 34. 
in connection with the manifestations destined to follow the revelation of Baha'u'llah, Abdul Baha makes this definite and weighty declaration. Concerning the manifestations that will come down in the future, in the shadows of the clouds, know verily that insofar as their relation to the source of their inspiration is concerned, they are under the shadow of this ancient beauty. In their relation, however, to the age in which they appear, each and every one of them doeth whatsoever he willeth. So my understanding of that is that the future manifestations, uh, in my own words, rule the day in which they live. They doeth whatsoever they willeth, whatever, whatever um, revelation, laws, admonitions God has given to them to give to humanity. Um, so, so they are in essence supreme in their day, but in the larger cycle, they are under the banner of Baha'u'llah's revelation. That's paragraph 34. Please comment your thoughts on that as well. Oh, my friend, he thus addresses in one of his tablets a man of recognized authority and standing. The undying fire which the Lord of the kingdom hath kindled in the midst of the holy tree is burning fiercely in the midmost heart of the world. The conflagration it will provoke will envelop the whole earth. Its blazing flames will illuminate its peoples and kindreds. All the signs have been revealed. Every prophetic allusion hath been made manifest. Whatever hath been enshrined in all the scriptures of the past hath been made evident. No doubt to doubt or hesitate is no more possible. Time is pressing. The divine charger is impatient and can tarry no longer. Ours is the duty to rush forward and ere it is too late, win the victory. And finally, is this most stirring passage which he, in one of his momentous exaltation, was moved to address to one of his most trusted and eminent followers in the earliest days of his ministry. What more shall I say? What else can my pen recount? So loud is the call that reverberates from the Abha kingdom that mortal ears are well nigh deafened with its vibrations. The whole creation, methinks, is being disrupted and is bursting asunder through the shattering influence of the divine summons issued from the throne of glory. More than this, I cannot write. Ooh. If you've been following along 19 Days of Inspiration, the daily art and devotional emails each day of the Baha'i Fast, you may recognize that last passage from, I'm not sure which day it was, but it was Fire Tree. And I had that quotation in there. I thought it was really powerful and I don't remember coming across that before. But um, again, it's quoted by Shogu Fendi in this book. Um, it's paragraph 35 of the letter, The Dispensation of Baha'u'llah. And in my copy of this book, it starts on the bottom of page 111, if you want to find that section for yourself. Thank you so much for studying along with me, my friends. It's really a pleasure. We're, 
We're making some progress in this book. I hope that this series has been enriching for you. If you would like to support my channel or my work in any way, you can start with liking this video. You can comment and of course subscribe to this channel. Linked below, you will also find other ways that you can support this channel through Patreon, through art, original art or prints and other ways as well. I thank you very, very much. And I will be back next week, 2 p.m. Central Standard U.S. time with another reading along, study along. And until next time, I wish you the best for playing your unique part in making this world a better place. Catch you next time. <laughs>